Today on the farm, we're doing some more seed treating. We just got out the next 11 bags that we're gonna start treating for my own personal farm. Now we're gonna loop one up, hang it over the treater, and start treating for the day. Now that we got the seeds preloaded into the inlet conveyor, we'll come over here and start the treater out. Here's a look at the first bag we just finished treating. The beans look nice and red, which symbolizes the treatment that we have on them. As you can tell, it took us a little bit longer to fit all the beans back inside the bag from our hopper in comparison to when we use some of the boxes. It's just a lot trickier to get all the beans to fill out everything on the bag because these bags really start to fill up once the beans are treated. So far, mom and I have just finished our first two bags of treating of a 14 XF4, so a 1.4 maturity soybean. Those are these two right here, and the next three that we need to get done are a different lot number, meaning that they came from a different farmer from the previous growing season, which means they have a little bit different seed size. So I'm gonna take a cup sample, get a weight of a calibration container out of this different lot number so we can program them into the treater. So because every seed has a little bit different size and different humidity when it comes in to being treated, we need to calibrate that to our treater, which I'm doing here with this cylinder, and we'll take a scale weight over here. By inputting that calibration container on the treater, I now have it calibrated for one individual bag of soybean seed, like this one here, which contains 140,000 seeds. But as you might have noticed, we're not treating per one individual bag. We're treating based off these large mini bulk bags, which contain 40 individual small bags like this. So to help visually show what we're doing here today with treating all my soybeans red and the seed treatment, I thought I'd kind of break things down, have some illustrations of what we're actually applying on a one unit per bag scale. So this right here is that one individual bag. This symbolizes the fungicide this red water right here inside this jar, this is the correct rate that I'm applying for one individual bag. This helps with some of the early soil-borne diseases that my soybeans will get planted into. Secondly, we're applying some soy sauce. No, this stuff right here, it actually is soy sauce. What I'm applying with the seed treater is a little bit of root inoculant to help build nitrogen down at the root hairs of our soybean plants come early and later season. The third thing I'm applying is a little bit of Olivo. This here, as obviously at a smaller rate, this helps against soybean cyst nematode and sudden death syndrome, some common insects and fungus pressure that we have in our area. And the last thing is some seed polymer, or E007. This helps lubricate the seed as it exits the treater. That way the flowability through the planter. This is almost like a flower-like mixture that gets coated on the outside of the seed prior to leaving the seed treater. So now that I gave you guys a rundown of all the chemicals I'm applying to my soybean seeds for next growing season, let's start another batch to keep treating. Another pain that I didn't mention with using the bags is we actually have to retie the bottom of them as mom's doing there. That way we can reuse the bag to put back on the pallet. It's just a lot less inconvenient than the boxes. One thing I'm liking about this different lot number is they put them in a little bit larger bag. So as you can tell, tell we didn't struggle as much fitting the now treated beans back in the bag. And we got that bag finished, so now we're gonna bring another bag over to the inlet hopper. Set it over it, open the bottom, and get started on another bag. Now I just got a notification on the treater. We're running out of a Levo in this keg right here. So I've already primed up another 15 gallon drum that we'll put on to this keg stand. That way it doesn't slow us down in treating and then we'll have to prime the line. We'll scan this one in. Oh. 
beautiful. The new keg's in position. We'll mark that as in position here on the treater. And then it's gonna double check the weight, make sure that's a completely full keg that we're just putting on. We'll jog a little chemical, get the line nice and primed up, up there to the seed wheel. And we should be ready to keep treating. Now that we got our nine large mini bulk bags of 1.4 maturity beans done, rather than directly transporting these over to our cold storage shed, what we like to do is leave these in the shop for a day or two. It really helps that seed treatment, that coating on the outside of the seed, adhere to it. That way, when those warm, high humidity days come this spring, the seed treatment doesn't just flake off. So we're just gonna move these into a row here in the back of the shed and pull out a 1.8 maturity bean that we'll start treating here shortly. Since we're switching varieties again, means we got another grab another cup sample here. But I didn't really talk about what's the advantage of treating soybeans. Why as a farmer I want my soybeans to look red instead of like this. So I thought I'd hit a little bit on that. So because of where I farm here in southwest Minnesota, we're often susceptible to some cooler days after and prior to planting. So ideally we would plant our soybeans about the 10th of May and have 50 to 60 degree soil temperatures. But reality is, sometimes with rain incoming and just logistics here at the farm, we're being pushed earlier and earlier to plant our soybeans to hopefully achieve eventually higher yields by having more sunlight reach our soybean plants. So by treating, we're adding an extra layer of protection to our soybean plant or our soybean that's in the ground before it emerges. And then it also continues that extra defense all season long from root to shoot of our soybean plant, ideally adding right around five extra bushels of yield is what we've seen over the last couple years from our treated versus our untreated check. So that's why we continue to keep spending time, effort, and energy on treating all of our soybeans. We just finished those previous eight 18 XF1s. Now we're gonna switch over to some 19 XF3s. And on this next bean, since we're putting this on a field where we have a little bit higher pressure of white mold, we're actually gonna be putting on some heads up soybean treatment. So this is to help against some of that protection of white mold. So we gotta go mix up in a different chemical, change around the recipe over here on the treater. I'm not finding the correct recipe here on our recipe formula inside the computer on the treater, which means I need to go to the computer, find the correct recipe, get it approved by a chemist, that way we make sure we have the right formulation here on the treater. And since this thing's connected to the internet, normally within five, 10 minutes of me submitting an application or submitting over my recipe, it'll get approved, sent back over here to the treater. And we'll start treating with that new recipe. It's about 10 minutes later now, I got my recipe approved by the chemist. So that's all uploaded into the treater. Now we're gonna start flex filling one of these hoppers here with our heads up soybean treatment. Now that I got this hopper tank here filled up with our heads up, I'm gonna start jogging the line, make sure everything's primed all the way up here to our seed wheel. treated with the heads up I was a little bit worried that since we're putting on so much chemical on these soybeans that they would come out in a little bit of clumps so I upped the rate of the seed polymer and as you can tell no clumps at all so we're gonna keep sticking with the rate we're going with on the next couple bags here we are finally on our last bag of soybean treating for the year well actually not technically for the year we still have some later maturity 2.5 2.3 beans over there but all of our early maturity soybeans after today are gonna to be treated. So we're just gonna drop the last 40 units inside the treater, which is a good feeling because then we can finally get our planter hooked up back into the shop because we have a ton of work or a lot of things we wanna check over on the planter before planting season. With that, 
that is bag number 30 for the day. That's gonna complete all the seed we need to get treated prior to start of the season. So hopefully we can get the planter hooked up, moved in here, wait a couple days for all this seed to kind of warm up, let that coat of seed treatment get well onto the seed. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks so much everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one.